hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 3 assignment of the course java data structures and algorithms using java so guys these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes that come to our notice definitely we will update that in the comment section if we found it ourselves and you can also suggest your solutions guys so let's see the first question which of the following best describes an array in java so for first question option b is the probable solution a fixed size data structure that stores elements of the same data type in contiguous memory locations guys if you are new to our channel then definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates so option a is the probable i mean option b is the probable solution next second question consider the 2d array so this is the array which of the following statements is true regarding the memory layout and access order of this array so for second question also second option is the probable solution option b java stores 2d arrays in row major order where elements in the same row are stored contiguously so mark option b as the probable solution next moving on to the third one which of the following is valid way to declare a integer in an and initialize an array in java an integer array in java so for third question option c is the probable solution int array equals new int of 5 so this is according to the syntax right so mark c option c as the probable solution next fourth question which of the following statements about the declaration and initialization of a 2d integer array in java is true so for fourth question option a is the probable solution guys next moving on to the fifth one which of the following statements about java's splitterator interface is true so for the fifth question option b is the probable solution a splitterator allows splitting of data sources to enable parallel processing using tri split method so mark option b as the probable solution for fifth question moving on to the sixth one now so guys before getting into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so that is regard exam preparation mcqs guys for the course data structure and algorithms using java we have get we have got the exam preparation mcqs with more than 5 years of experience so these exam preparation mcqs are nothing but the past nptel assignment mcqs 100% nptel based syllabus huge number of 315 mcqs you are going to get in a google drive pdf restricted link huge number of 315 mcqs guys for one person it will be 300 rupees if you take this along with your friends or classmates in a two to five person pack combinedly you can get it for just 500 rupees only two members can share that 500 or five members can share that 500 so if you take it in two to five person pack you can get it for just 500 rupees only so please share this news with your friends and classmates in your whatsapp on official student groups and one person from the group mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so this is our mail id guys you can mail me to this email id if you are confirmed to make the purchase already many students and even professors have also taken our various nptl pdf packs guys so take it now itself so that you can get more time to revise at the end so for one person 300 rupees for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees huge number of 315 mcqs so mail me to this email id i'll be the same email id in the description box also so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question this is the code they have given they are asking the output of the program so for sixth question second option array index out of bounds exception is the probable solution
next moving on to the next question seventh question which of the following statements about the vector class in java is true so for seventh question option c is the probable solution guys vector is a synchronized and allows dynamic resizing with thread safe operations so mark option c as the probable solution for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one so this is the code for eighth one what will be the output of the above java program so for eighth question i have got the probable solution as second option guys option b 15 is the probable solution next moving on to the ninth question which of the following statements about array list is in java is true so for ninth question option d is the probable solution array list maintains the insertion order and allows random access to elements in constant time so for ninth question option d is the probable solution now let's check the for remaining questions also the probable solutions so once again cross check this guys so once again cross check the solutions these are the most probable solutions if you feel there should be any change to be made you can suggest in the solution suggest the solution in the comment section and if we find out any change we will definitely mention it in the comment section right so that's it guys now let's see the last solution consider the following piece of code so this is the code they have given they are asking what will be the output of the above java program so for 10th and final question option b a d c is the probable solution so mark option b as the probable solution for 10th and final question so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 3 of the course data structure and algorithms using java and if you are want to if you want to purchase the exam preparation mcqs these are past nptel assignment mcqs you will get that in a google drive pdf restricted link if you want to purchase that mail me to this email id bk1794178 gmail.com i will give the same email id in the description box also so huge number of 315 mcqs for one person 300 for two to five persons combinedly funded so please share this news with your friends and classmates and purchase in a bulk so two to five members form a group and one person from the two to five person group mail me to this email id bk1794178 at the gmail.com already many students and even professors have also taken our various subject pdf packs guys so keep supporting us like this guys definitely subscribe our channel like the video and please share this with your friends and so until the next video goodbye